Tecton is a framework of components and guidelines for CI-CD in the cloud-native world. As a matter of fact, it's a rather simple project with a lot of benefits. This presentation answers a few questions about the project, like what it is and how it works. You'll also find a short demonstration of building a container with Tecton. Tecton is a cloud-native CI-CD framework, which means it's open source and it itself is a set of microservices running containers with the Unix philosophy. As a matter of fact, Tecton is a Kubernetes application, which means that there are uh, CRDs and controllers uh, running all together to create the different kind of resources. And it also means that it can scale on, on demand. But anyway, it doesn't mean that uh, the, the target uh, is Kubernetes only. So any kind of uh, components for cloud native applications are targeted with this CI CD framework. So for instance, if you, if you want to run a serverless application or a set of instances that will run on demand or on, on based on events, then you would probably use uh, this service to uh, create your components or to test your components. It's also based on uh, Kinetic Build as it was in August 2018. That's important because it means that it doesn't come from nowhere. Uh, what you've got to understand though is that uh, the, there are two separate and fully independent projects, which means that, uh, for instance, they removed all the dependencies from uh, Kinetic in Tecton, and you don't have to install any ser service from Kinetic uh, to run Tecton. There is an exception that is if you want to uh, start a pipeline based on an event, then you might want to rely on Kinetic eventing, but you don't have to. Uh, on the other hand, Kennedy did not try to follow Tecton at all. They've kept the um, build um, as the uh, current Kennedy building system, and, uh, and and they didn't want to, to, to follow Tecton at all. So um, on the other hand, if you look at the roadmap, the build roadmap, you'll see uh, that uh, it's not fulfilled at all. So, so maybe at some point they, they, will, they will keep up, but for now it's not the case. Another thing that you'll see if you look at uh, builds compared to what Tecton is today is you see there are a lot of differences and that's because it has radically transformed. So for instance, uh, builds and build templates, they have become task runs and tasks. Uh, there is also in, in Tecton the, the idea of a pipeline of many different tasks that depends on one each other's and uh, with and, and can run uh, one after the other or in parallel. So that's something that did not exist at all with uh, with Kinetic builds. You also see that they've managed to remove the dependencies on the resources like the GitHub repositories or the registries or the other clusters. So you can can plug them at runtime. Um, so it's a very different product now. Um, if you look at the project, you'll see also that uh, it's still very, very early stage, or that's what you feel. Uh, it says it's alpha, you, you'll look at the website, it's not even live. Uh, the documentation, it's, it's a well-written documentation, fully documented, but it's still in the markdown in the project, so you don't have a website publishing it. Um, they say that uh, the API uh, are marked as alpha, they will change, and they, they don't have yet the the procedure to, to maintain uh, for the long term stability on the, on the APIs and the probably a lot to do on, on the testing part of the project and so on. So, so uh, uh, we are in early stage and that makes sense, by the way. Uh, on the other hand, they say that the roadmap is, is very ambitious and they, they, they want to have um, a lot of different things happening, but they want the framework to be ready this year. And, um, and that would be a good thing because if, if you start to have something stable you can use, then probably people will start to come and, and, and use it and, and make sense uh, for different use cases. And probably uh, uh, we can expect Kennedy to at least ask the question if, we, if they could or should uh, join back the uh, Tecton initiative. So if you're interested in, to test it, th there's the website, tecton.dev, even if, like I said, it's not live yet, but uh, it will redirect you to the GitHub repositories, and uh, that includes the many different projects. The repository owner is named uh, 
detect on CD, so that means that uh, if you want to look at the repository, you get to GitHub, github.com slash tecton CD slash pipeline for, for the pipeline project. This slide shows the different components that make uh, Tecton. Or because Tecton is a Kubernetes application, the customer resource definition that make Tecton. So you'll see that the main building block is a task, and the task is basically a command that comes with input and output, right? Like, uh, for instance, do um, some unit tests on my program, uh, then you will link it to, to your GitHub or your Git repository, and the output will be a result uh, in this case if it has failed or succeed and uh, you'll get the logs and so on. So uh, this task is very similar to what is a build template with Kinele. Uh, but in, in this case, you can compose those tasks all together as part of a pipeline. So a pipeline is a higher level definition of a task with dependencies. Obviously, they also have uh, parameters and, and resources, but they are basically tasks running uh, one after the other or the also in parallel. Once you have those definitions, you, you can uh, you can run them. So you can run a, a single task with a task run, or you can run a whole pipeline with a pipeline run. And uh, you have what they call pipeline resources that are the link to the different resources. Like I said already, the, the GitHub repository, the, the uh, registry for, for your Docker, or even another cluster if you want to deploy in a cluster. And those resources, uh, they, can, they will be linked at the runtime, not, not at the definition time. And so that's it. That's, that's pretty simple. And uh, you can create many different uh, pipelines based on this model. And it's very easy to create and use. Now, let's have a quick look at how to do things. This demonstration is about how to create a Tecton task and how to run it. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll create a, a Docker image from a project uh, I have uh, that is part of my GitHub repository. And I will build it uh, with uh, Canico uh, managed by Tecton. And I will push it on uh, my AWS uh, registry. So it's, uh, it's a very basic flow. And in order to do that, I'll need to create a task and to run that task. So pretty simple. But first, uh, I want to show you how to install Tecton. So basically what you do, you, you go to the repository, so the pipeline repository in Tecton CD. You look at the uh, installing Tecton pipelines, right? And you have the process to install it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you have also the process to create a, the Kubernetes cluster, but you don't want to do that probably. Um, so you, to install it, you just have to, to apply manifest, right? You don't even have to, to clone the directory, uh, the project, just have to do that. And you, you can check it's running. And you'll see it's it's pretty simple. It only has a con uh, controller, right? Uh, if you look at the uh, CRDs, you just uh, keep cuddle uh, API resources, pipe grab tecton, right? You'll see there are uh, six uh, different resources, one being the task, the pipeline, the uh, pipeline resources that um, and then you you can reference those uh, with uh, task runs or pipeline runs right the cluster tasks being a task at the cluster level right it says there pretty simple uh, as you can see so so I'll show you the example uh, here so what I've done just um, another discretion <laughs> sorry um, so what I've done I, I've created a um, uh, an authentication uh, for my Docker registry. So it's here require uh, to be authenticated. And uh, because it doesn't exist really, so you you have to create um, a secret and reference that secret in, in my service account. So here what you have in, in my directory, is here helper is just a script that does that. So if you're interested, um, you can just, you know, go to the to the repository and uh, in the blog slash uh, Tecton directory, you'll find that directory with the script uh, under README. Basically, that that's a copy of the, what is done on a Knative build with a, a few changes so that it can work with uh, Tecton. 
doesn't matter really uh, right so uh, what I have here is the definition of, uh, of the pipeline resources for to connect to github right so if I look at the github uh, yaml you'll see it's a pipeline resource of type git and it connects to the master branch and that's the URL so y that's where you'll find my repository by the way if you're interested in, in it and here you have slash blog slash tecton for, for this directory and you have uh, the manifest of the docker manifest uh, I use is the same I use for the kinetic build uh, demonstration so it's part of the uh, slash blog slash uh, kinetic build um, directory okay so uh, pretty easy uh, the uh, other uh, pipeline resource is actually the docker registry so here what you have is a resource with a name and it's the type is image and it references the registry here you have the label of the registry but you can you don't have to it, it can label it by itself or change it on the fly obviously and uh, and that's it you can you can see I've installed it already um, whoops okay uh, then you have the task okay so the task is um, it's basically um, an image right so in this case that's the Kaneko uh, executor so um, that's a project that built a docker and with a, a set of uh, arguments um, to to say where is the docker file uh, what is the context of the build and where should it push the uh, image to right and that's for for the uh, for the command itself and so you have an input and an output so the output it doesn't have to reference already the the, the registry itself it's just a generic out output generic input uh, and so the input is in this case is a git repository with a set of parameters the one that i'll use with default values but i won't use them and for the output it's, it's an image right so you can just uh, uh, apply that and here it is so you have uh, created the uh, the task and then uh, you have the uh, task run right and so the task run does a reference to the to the task obviously it also says how to, to, to start it manually so it will create it right away plus it says what are the input so that's where I reference the real uh, project so it says that the, the project is actually cloud for fun and uh, the output so that's where I reference the uh, image registry right I can set the uh, the direct the the different uh, values so I'll change the name okay I'll pull build 16 and I'll apply it okay and here it is and so so you can get the task run there's a shortcut for that right so it says it's building and if you're interested you can get in there and, and look at uh, how it's made of but uh, we'll directly go to the pods you'll see there is a pod that is running and so if you look at the logs I think I have yeah I have it somewhere in my history you just uh, logs what the content of the pod and you will um, do dash f to follow uh, the log plus and I'll explain it right away so uh, there are different each each um, task run is made of uh, different containers that does different things so for instance there is one that will pull the data from git and uh, there is another one that will do the, the stuff uh, uh, it's intended for so so you'll see that there are different containers so that's why if you want to log what's happening you'll have to specify which container or say dash dash all containers but 
if you want to follow the log of a container, you, you cannot follow all the containers all together, so you have to dash C plus the name of the container. Here, what you see is that it's currently building my container, uh, my image with the Canico uh, executor, and once done, it's pushing everything uh, to, to the Docker registry. And that's it. That's over. Uh, very easy. So if, if you're interested uh, and want to know more, uh, again, directory, the project is uh, on Gregory Gilu, Cloud for Fun, and directory is this one. If you're interested by the, um, the, uh, the Docker file and the project itself, uh, it's in uh, Kinetic Build, and that's where you have Dockerfile and the project and and, um, and so on. So it's a very simple project anyway, just for demonstration stuff. To summarize, uh, Tecton is very easy to use. You you get it installed in a few minutes. You you get your first pipeline in less than one hour. Uh, it provides a set of components and practices that will allow everyone to share those. Uh, and, and by the way, once you get to that, you'll be able to create building blocks and reuse them and share them across projects. So that will be a very good thing. You'll see that Tecton is also a very popular project and uh, it's evolving a lot. You'll see there is now a, a dashboard, there is a CLI, there, is, there are catalogs, different kind of components uh, uh, depending on resources. And, and hopefully it will, it, will, it will improve over time and we'll get to something uh, stable by the end of the year. So don't hesitate to get involved.